All right, so here's how you make jasmine rice. Um, a lot of people have different ways of doing it, but that's how we do it. Um, how my wife's family does it. And uh, so my family does it, the Hickey family does it. This is a, a cup of uh, jasmine rice. And uh, I generally rinse it out about three times. That's pretty average for what I do it. Um, but you just rinse it and rinse it and rinse it till it's nice and clear, all right? So I do it about three times. So I just did it once and get some water in there. Run your fingers through it nice, kind of squish it a little, swirl it around, swirl it around. Then we get the water out of here, just like so. Get it all, all right, so we're all rinsed. That was a cup of jasmine rice. So what I add is, and what you should add is a cup and a half of water. And then we, you should get yourself a rice cooker. There's somewhere around maybe 30 bucks for a nice little normal one. This will do a good size for your family. We put it in here. This is the easiest way you'll ever do to make easy jasmine rice. Turn the power on. It's, it's a no brainer. Push white rice, leave it alone. All right, hey, we're gonna be starting on the, um, the preparation for the preparation, I'm all proper. Um, Cutting the the thigh meat, uh, chicken thigh meat, and getting ready boneless chicken thigh meat, and we're gonna get that ready right now for the adobo. So here we go. So I usually sharpen my knife, nice and sharp. See how one thigh through that? It's frozen. Frozen is easier to cut. I usually cut it up like this. What you should be using is either a bone broth or something for later. But here's how we cut it. It's easier when it's frozen. I cut it up like so. This would be a good spot. Boom, Let's cut it up like so. Some of the fat you might want to take off here and there. Fat is flavor, so don't forget that. And it'll melt down in there nice. So we'll kind of clean it up just a little here and there. Cut it about that size. And then um, I'll be back in just a little bit. I'll be, I'll be back, okay? Hey, <laughs> hey, um, I'll be back in just a little bit and um, we'll be starting to cook. All right, so we're finishing up cutting. So like I said, I'll show you one more time here. Got like this, get across there. Remember, fat is flavor. Sorry, it is. And be trying to be careful with fat. But if you're trying to make a really good dish for your family, then this is gonna taste great with a little bit of fat in it. It's gonna render down, it's gonna melt, it's gonna make it taste nice and juicy. And remember, you don't always have a million ideas of what to cook next at your, um, let me wash my hands. Um, you don't really know what to cook sometimes. For your family, same crap all the time. You know, you, you you keep making the same crap all the time, and you know they don't want it. They 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 like it because they're used to it. Try some other stuff. You know, just try some other stuff, and um, you're gonna make them real happy. Actually, you make them super happy. They'll be like, Mom's making something different. What the hell? But uh, this stuff don't come off. You saw me cooking the meat really bite size, I mean not cooking it, cutting it like bite size. What you want to do is understand that you can put whole legs, whole thighs. I really wouldn't use um, chicken breast, obviously you can, um, but uh, you can put whole pieces, you can cut them bigger. Um, I just wanted to show you a contrast of what you could do with the different meats. Also, um, start off with a quarter um, cup of soy sauce and and work your way up from there for the saltiness don't forget it could be really salty and don't forget to put the black pepper all right so take your meat over to here over to the stove put it on a good on nice and high for a little bit get a little oil in there a little bit of oil um avocado oil is good high smoke point a little bit in there plus the, the chicken fat will render down not sure the exact amount but let me get my spoon turn it around here all right so let's get that kind of situated in here a little bit i'm gonna put a little salt a little pepper don't put a lot of each remember we're going to be using uh soy sauce pretty salty so you can go real salty real fast if you're not careful with it so let me put a little salt and pepper on here a little salt just very little Good, some pepper, not much, but we'll be adding it later and we'll mix that all together and we'll be back in a second. All right, so I'm just finishing up cutting 
uh, the a lot of onions. A lot of people don't put this much onion. You don't have to. Uh, if you want to make it taste really good, you should. So let's just put it that way. But you don't have to. You can put, you know, half an onion. I put a full big brown onion. So I got some oil in there already. Let's see if I can get it like this. Let's put it like so. Like this. Get that bad boy in there and get that on the stove. Let me get that on the stove real quick here. Oh, that little bit's okay. I'll get that in a second. You get it on the stove. Nice and hot. I already got the oil in there. The avocado oil. And you just kind of stir it up. And uh, let it render down. Nice and golden brown. And translucent or whatever the words some of the cooks use. I'm not a cook like that. I wasn't taught how to say all that stuff. But I'm going to use it. Translucent. And uh, we'll be back in a second. And the meat's cooked. Alright. So we got the onions cooking. The rice is cooking. Oh. I don't know if you heard that. But the rice just went off. I got about uh, eight to 10 uh, cloves of garlic in here. I like a lot of garlic. Uh, my wife only puts about five. I like to put almost double that because I love it. Because when in doubt, use the garlic. Put some more garlic, man. Garlic is flavor. Fat is flavor. Salt has flavor. Garlic. Oh my God. If you're not sure if that's going to come out good, put some garlic. Listen, um, this is uh, Filipino chicken adobo. My, my wife's family is from uh, Pampanga area of the Philippines. Supposedly, they're the best cooks, and from what I know, they are, because uh, that's why I got all my health problems, because I'm so fat, and I can't stop eating it. My wife always makes food for an army, even though there's only six of us at the house, but uh, lots of leftovers. And um, so anyway, just guard this up. Okay, so keep cutting. Make it kind of minced out. If you're not using, I know, I know, because I used to do it, um, using uh, the bottled minced garlic, it's not as good, man. It's missing a lot of flavor. You want some good flavor, you get some you get some good um, fresh garlic and you're ready to go, man. So you just keep cutting this. Anyway, all right, get that cranked up a little. Forgot to leave it on. That's about how I like the onions. Make a little center here. Put all that bad boy in there. Put all that sucker in there. And uh, you're gonna be in love with this, man. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna be in love with it. It already had oil in there. I'm just gonna, uh, Mince that up till it gets nice and fragrant. Don't let it burn because it'll get uh, 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 bitter. Don't let your garlic burn. So just kind of cook it till it gets fragrant and I'll be back in a second and show you the rest of what I'm doing. Our garlic is nice and fragrant now. I'm gonna mix it all up in there. Mix the onions up in there. There we go. I'm gonna add our chicken in this way, okay. I'm gonna add our chicken here with the juices and everything right into the pan here, okay. If you can, get them browned. I made quite a bit, so they didn't get to brown. So I'd have to make it in batches. But for this video, I went ahead and cooked it and it stayed a little wet, but it's looking good. All right, so here we go. All right, I wanna mix that up, just like this. Get a little mix going. We'll be adding a bunch of salt to it. We don't know what, you can always add salt later. Always add salt later. Okay, so we got that going like so kind of mix it up in there there we go get all the sides mix it up flip it turn it okay we put the soy sauce right now i start off and you should too start off with half a cup half a cup of soy sauce and there is a filipino soy sauce and um it's called uh let me turn that sucker datu puti you can get that if you want um it's a little milder at times Kind of fruitier it seems like anyway so you put half a cup of soy sauce and a half a cup of vinegar and we're going to stir this up let that cook for a second together let these kind of join each other and i'll be back in a second to show you the next right, step so we've been cooking this for about maybe five to seven minutes with the soy sauce and the vinegar and um, we're gonna go ahead and add the bone broth because these really should be cooked with bones. It makes it taste just luscious, delicious, very nice. So this is my bone broth. I make it myself at home, my chicken bone broth. And put a little bit of that in there. I made um, almost two cups here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a cup inside about. Put this on the side here. I'm gonna, what's that fork at? Yeah. 
I didn't even do anything. I didn't stare at it, didn't do nothing, man. Look at that, look at that. That's delicious. All right, so uh, I gotta add my bay leaves. Leave that for a second. I gotta add my bay leaves to this, like so. I'm gonna put, how many we got here? One, two, three, four, five. I, I put about four or five. If they're bigger than that, I don't. Um, give it a little steer. All that will penetrate through there nice. And then you'll be able to take them out. They stay whole. And then um, I'm going to turn the... Let's give that a steer of the new stuff that's in there. Okay. And then um, we're going to turn it down to a simmer. Because it's already cooked. You can eat it that way. But you want to turn it down. Maybe... maybe um, here, take a look at this fire here, Jeff. There's about medium. And then right there, just a little bit under medium. All right, we're back. All right, hey, we should be completely done. It's been simmering for right around an hour. Oh, yeah. I can smell it. I already know it's done. I've eaten this, I don't know, 200 times, 500 times, something like that. Let's taste it. This is going to be hot, but I'm doing it for you guys. Always doing it for you guys. Not my tongue. Okay, well, it was a little hot. Ah, it needs a little bit of sugar. And let me tell you why. Because it's a hair on this, on the, um, where's my spoon? There we go. Okay, get a little bit of sugar here. Very little. Only because take it'll, it'll balance out the, the vinegar flavor. Just put a little bit in here. If you need more, hey, help it out. You can, you'll know by tasting it. So I'm going to do that for now. I'll taste it in a second. We'll come back in just a second. Oh, no, sorry. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. It sounds a little loose. I like it a little more like gravy. A little more gravy-ish. So I take I take my cornstarch that I already had pre-mixed for a little while. Put one tablespoon to some water. Make sure it's cold water, not hot water. It'll make all kinds of lumps on you. You stir it in here, and you'll see it in just a second. It's going to make it nice and thicker, nice and thick. You mix it up in there. Oh, it's still going and it'll make it thick in just a minute and we'll be back in just a second all right so hey we're all done that's how it is a little on the gravy side because of the cornstarch you don't need to put a lot you need to put a lot but it's not just wet so we're gonna make a plate for you right now well sorry for me that bad boy oh my goodness spread it out a little put a little more however much you want man Remember, like always, I'm not your doctor, dude. I'm just showing you how to eat really good food instead of the same plain stuff you keep making every day. Boom. Buy one of these. Buy one of these. You need it. It's not expensive. All right. So here we go. Get that bay leaf out of there. Get that sucker on there with the gravy. Oh, it's not really gravy. They don't call it gravy. But that's adobo sauce in that sucker. This is chicken adobo. Filipino chicken adobo and you don't really need a lot of sugar That's why I didn't put much because the onions bring out a lot of sugar But if you don't put as much onions as I do it may not be So we'll just go ahead and take that bad boy out bring it over here All right, hey this sucker It's still got steam coming off of it, but and the rice is super hot. So I like to kind of mix it up and just chow, man. You're going to love it. If, you, if you're not eating this, because it's that simple, make a comment. <coughs> make a comment and say, hey, I, I did it like this. It didn't come out right. Look, if you follow exactly what I did, it's going to come out delicious. There's no way that you're not going to be able to make this. This is easy. What? Uh, cut some onions, saute them, saute some, what you call it, chingadera or whatever. And boom, you're eating it. You're good. You guys ready for this? <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh man that's um super delicious but damn it hurts if it's hot because remember it's like a molten lava gravy on hot rice <sighs> um <laughs> my eyes are watering i'm gonna eat one more because let me blow it a little bit okay so here we go 
It's super delicious though, all right? Eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Don't put too much salt. Calm down. Put the soy sauce, but calm down on the salt. You don't need to add more salt everywhere because the soy sauce is super, super uh, salty. Look, like us, comment, subscribe. Be nice on the comments. Look, if you're Filipino and you think you make it better, go ahead and make a comment. But don't put pickle juice in your adobo. All right. I love you guys. Um, share this video also. All right. You can check us out also on Loco Islander, the food we cook. You can come get some. Hey, have a fabulous day. Try this. Not just regular meatloaf and broccoli and, uh, you know, all the uh, just spaghetti. Eat this. Hey, put it over some mashed potatoes. You'll love it. Have a good one. I'm blowing. Well, be careful. How's that? Mm. Is that great? Mm. That's crazy good, right? Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Take All right, bad well. boy out. Bring it over here. Oh, no. Actually, I'm going to take a bite. No. No? No. Oh.